All right, guys, today we're going to check out a new adventure slash horror game called Burnhouse Lane. I'm going to be playing as a nurse attempting to complete five impossible tasks in order to win my life back. There will be puzzles, we'll make friends and enemies. This is a long game that consists of seven chapters, which are about an hour and a half long uh, from what I can tell so far on YouTube. So let's get to it. Uh, that's probably important, right? Think twice before you say or do something. Your choices have consequences that cannot be undone. Hi, Angie. It's Tracy from the agency. I have good news. A job's come up. And it's a big one, just like you wanted. It's a long drive, southwest. Right in the middle of bloody nowhere. But... It's just one elderly gentleman living on a farm. Early dementia symptoms, so it's all pretty standard. You'll need to do some light cooking, but nothing too crazy. You know the drill. His regular carer's off sick, and he needs someone to keep an eye on the poor chap until she gets back. I'd go myself. It sounds like a lovely holiday in the country, but, you know... Kids and... I'm stuck in the office, as always. But you'll love it there, I'm sure you will. Uh, Angie? I can't. Something's come up. I'm sorry. Okay, <clears throat> so sounds like my name is Angie, right? And I'm a sort of like a nurse. I had a job offering just a minute ago, but I something came up and I uh, just can't do it. So, um, let's see what we can do here. Uh, now, the last thing I want is the coffee table breaking under my weight before I'm even ready. Let's take a look at the picture. Me and James on our wedding day. Why do I still have it? I shouldn't throw this away ages ago. Okay, so, I'm assuming that is a, um, her ex-husband maybe? Or a boyfriend? If <laughs> you throw the picture. Okay, she didn't mean to do that. The glasses everywhere. Okay, so we made a mess. Let's go ahead and smoke our uh, smoke our <laughs> smoke our game. Let's go save our game by smoking an ashtray. Okay, so the game is saved. Um, okay, so there is something on top here that looks like I'm not able to do anything yet. Okay, this is it, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Press Y to open the inventory. Is she gonna hang herself, isn't she? Because I know this game is about like a different world. A rope, yeah, absolutely. Okay. I guess this is the only choice we have, so let's do this. Put nose. Ah, put news around your neck, calm down, okay. Oh my goodness. Painful to watch. These last two months have been the best months of my life. Will you marry me? A nurse falling in love with a patient? God, no. Marrying a dying man. I never understood why she did it. Japan? Are you kidding me? Of course I want to go. It, it's only like the best place on earth. I'm afraid the patient is not responding to the treatment. We should start planning palliative care. April. That's perfect. We're gonna see the cherry blossoms. James really shouldn't be traveling in his current condition. I'm sorry, but I can't allow it. It's all right. We'll go once I'm done with this <sighs> fucking keeper. Angie. I'm sorry. He was... James was a great guy. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm 
sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for your loss. <gasps> That's a nasty cop, Angie. Should go have that looked at. You okay? You look a bit pale. Everyone felt sorry for her, but no one really said anything. I have bad news, Mrs. Weber. Worst, I'm afraid. It's lung cancer. Late stages. But didn't her husband die of cancer last year? Both of them? What are the odds? Maybe if we found it sooner. But at this point, it's so far gone, there's nothing we can do. I'm sorry, Mrs. Weber. We cannot cure your cancer. You have about six months left to get it. So, I was definitely ruined by the picture. I did not see that coming. Tracy, I've changed my mind. I'll take that job. That's great. I'll be honest. I thought people would fight each other over those few weeks in Devon, but guess what? Nobody wants to go. The clean country air, the double pay. I mean, what's not to like? But it's all right. I've got my best nurse on the job now. It's all good. I know things have been hard for you. I'm glad you've changed your mind. It'll be good for you to go out there and, uh... Tracy, this is probably my last job. I just need to save up some money and then... I want to travel for a bit. Go to Japan. See the cherry blossoms. Well, okay. You've not had a holiday abroad for years. By all means, go. But you'll be back, right? I'll let you know when I get back home. Bye. All right, chapter one out of seven. Don't let the cats in. And from what I've read, this game used to call Cat Lady 2, maybe? Uh, but then they changed the name to, you know, Burr House, um, what was it, in? Alright, so we arrived. Um, I don't have anything in my inventory, but I know I learned how to run, so that's good. Uh, I'm not sure what the other buttons mean. A fancy white car, it probably belongs to the farmer's daughter. I'm supposed to be meeting her here, okay? It's a sheep pen. It's better keep the gate shut. The gate shut, who knows what this ship can do? Yeah, sheep. I should probably say hello to the owners first. Okay, so I can't go in there yet. Where's the owner? You must be Angie then. Come in, come in. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Dad's regular carer was in a car accident recently. Nothing life threatening. But she's had some pins and screws put in her knee and it'll be months before she can get back to work. Now, I would have loved to take Dad with me to the city. I could have him close to where I work. I'd look after him myself. But he won't have it, the stubborn old fool that he is. Still, he's lived in this house his whole life. He was born just there in the other room. 
He might as well spend what time he has left here on the farm where he's happy, right? Sounds like whatever I pick here is going to be the same outcome. Yes. It's a beautiful place indeed. It is. I can appreciate it more now. But to be honest, for a young girl growing up here wasn't exactly exciting. Not everyone was born to be a farmer, right? You should meet Dad. Come with me. He's in the lounge. After you. Meet Angie, Dad. She's gonna look after you until Joyce gets back. Hello, dear. Hi. Oh, sorry, that's from the office. I should take it. Hello? Hi, Sam. No, I shan't be long. I'm just showing the house to that new nurse. I'll be back before five half past tops. Oh, I know. He always does that. Yeah. See you soon. Ta ta. That was my freak. Oh, I'm really strapped for time today, I'm afraid. I'll just explain everything quickly and leave you to it. I'll need you to cook for George. He prefers the good old classics, nothing too complicated. The truth is, he'd just eat sandwiches every day if he could. But don't let him do that. I'll leave you a list of his favorite meals. Anything that's there, just help yourself. Here's Dad's bedroom. He might occasionally need help with this or that, but on most days, he still manages to dress on his own. And here's the bathroom he uses. Again, just watch him to make sure he doesn't slip on the tiles and break a zip or something. Dad likes to be called George. You can take him for a walk sometimes if the weather's okay, but he prefers to spend most of the day here watching TV. That means you'll have plenty of time left for yourself. There's lots of old books in the house if you ever get bored, and an old computer in the office. But I'm not sure if it works. And finally, my old bedroom. That's your space now, so make yourself at home. Just don't let the cats in. They get too cozy indoors and they never want to leave. <laughs> Hello? I've left a little guidebook on the kitchen table for you. Make sure to check it every now and then, you know, when you get stumped. And please, keep a close eye on George. I know he seems fine most of the time, but he does have his moments. So let's go ahead and save. Um, I'm assuming there's like a checkpoints in this game. Game save, fantastic. Okay, so we saved the game. Uh, let's see what's in this dresser. Uh, wardrobe. If I ever need to hide a dead body, there will be a room for at least two of this. Okay, good to know. If I find something pretty i can put it on this shelf it's a flashlight all right so it looks like i got an item in my inventory i think right that's a flashlight use switch okay fantastic on and off i don't know if i can just do it now or not yeah i don't see a way to use it I can still see the... let's save the battery for later. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, what was that door? So I can go downstairs here if I need to. I'm assuming that that's him. 
Oh, okay, there's looks like there are lots of rooms here. Okay, so that one is locked. Before I go downstairs, let's I want to make sure I got everything here. Yeah, no, I just missed something. I'm just gonna. Oh, that's a. Ah, I see. I bet that's the room I just came from, mate. Maybe not. No, that was the lock room. Looks like a hamster cage. I can't tell from down here if that's a ha hamster inside of. Where, where is she? What? Oh, up top, the hamster cage. Okay. Got it. A hole in the wall. I can see the other room through it. Yeah, that, might be, that must be his bedroom, right? George's bed. Nothing fancy, of course. An old guy like George doesn't care much about comforts of the modern world. Just another house plant. Old suitcase. Covered in dust. I wouldn't feel right to look inside. Alright, it's probably his personal things. Okay, so nothing special right now as of yet. We we'll probably still need to <clears throat> use that suitcase and plan for something, or else what? Why are we interacting with them, right? Oh, that's all the computer she was talking about. Pressing the on button doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, so maybe at one point we'll have to fix it. I'm not exactly sure. This is not a small house. We're still just upstairs. The bathroom sink. Clearly, this is George's space. There are shaving utensils on the side of bits and bits of hair everywhere. A little messy old guy, huh? Alright, so that's it for now. So I guess that we only have can go downstairs. I forgot I can run. This is where I came from, right? This is it. Wanna make sure I got everything here. I believe so, okay. Alright, so is that outside? No, it's a little small bathroom here. Examine. Looks pretty clean, I guess George, is, George uses the other bathroom upstairs, yeah? He sure does. Uh, you stole it. Let's flush it first. Okay, so let's go ahead and use it. Well, it's a good thing I had to go, right? So now let's go and flush this. I don't know, let's close, let's keep the loop closed. Alright, nothing special about this bathroom, I can use it, I can use the sink, but for some reason I didn't wash my hands. Listen to the basement, okay? Ooh, there's a picture. Family picture, this little boy, could it be George and the girl, his older sister perhaps? Maybe. Should we go check out the basement? Uh, let's do this. Okay, so there's a, I'm assuming that's a water heater. A red blinking eye of the boiler. Okay, so that's a boiler. It's a fuse box. Uh, it's locked, I need some tool to open it. Okay, what is this? New objective added. There's a strange sound coming from the other side, it sure is. It's locked. Okay, so I got some kind of objective. I wonder how do I get to my objectives. Mm, interesting. Alright, so I couldn't figure out where to find my objectives. I don't know where that is. Um, so maybe this fuse will actually let me open this door if I fix this fuse box somehow. Open it up. 
Uh, we'll just have to look around and see what we can find. Uh, red blinking eye, so that means it's not working. There's a random door here. Alright, so that's the basement. Um, yeah, let's go in here now. I don't know much about plants, but it's a nice plant, I guess. Empty wine bottles. They use this as a candle holders. holders. Oh. Okay, this actually opens. Um, well, let's take a look at this door first. There's nothing else here, right? Oh, okay, so that's... This is the exit. Okay, so I've been here before. So hang on. We'll come back here in a minute. Oh, this is like a backyard. Okay, very cool, very cool. I'm assuming I need some kind of tool to open that fuse box. Um, maybe look at there's a sh oh, what is this? Oh my goodness, this looks like a dug up tiny grave. There's a slightly decomposed hamster inside it. Oh, the hamster died and they buried it. My goodness. Okay. So that's what happened to the hamster. The cage was empty. Okay, this is locked. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a shed, maybe not. But we're gonna have to come back. So this is only our only way to go is this way now. It's an old R C R T TV. You can buy this nowadays. That's yeah, pretty old school. It's an urn. If I had to guess, I'd say it's holding ashes of George's late wife. It's probably better not to touch it. Uh, look at it. George seems completely focused on the TV. I guess let's make a small talk. Georgie. Anything good on the telly? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's uh, one of those um, American films. Ah, right. Okay, uh, I guess we keep talking to him, right? You hungry? Well, I don't know. Oh, I, uh, I suppose I could always do with a nice sandwich if you have one. Fancy a cup of tea? Oh, you just had one, thank you. Would you like a blanket? Well, that's very sweet of you, dear. But no, thank you. I'm quite warm. Wanna go for a walk? Oh, well, that's a bit windy, isn't it? I suppose. I think I'll give it a miss, if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. Okay, so last one says, uh, it's all bloody awful, isn't it? What? Should I even say that? This is all bloody awful, isn't it? What do you mean, dear? I don't even know. Don't listen to me, George. I'm okay. just having a bad day. Okay, well, he seems to be a pretty nice guy. Uh, there's one thing left to say, I think. Let me know if you need anything, yeah? Uh, right, old dear. <laughs> Will do. Okay, so he doesn't really want anything besides maybe a sandwich, but his daughter told me not to give him sandwiches every day so he can probably have one it's okay um oh so i have oh okay i can go here okay so here's the kitchen okay take can of tuna take fancy tea box tea box close the cupboard okay there's some kind of recipe book right she left me maybe 
That's gotta be it, right? I'll take it with me. What? Guidebook. Okay. Oh, here's the objective maybe, right? Investigate. Okay, now I got that book. Now I can see the objectives. Fantastic. So we do actually need to make a sandwich for him. Uh, water the plants and investigate the door in the basement. So, how the hell do I make a sandwich? Pick up a note. Examine. Cooking isn't my strong suit, but old George doesn't really strike me as a fussy type. Pick up note. New item added. What is that? A handwritten note from Sarah. If the electrician comes by to collect the tools he left in the basement last week, please tell him I've put his toolbox in the workshop outside at the front yard. Thanks, Sarah. Okay, maybe that's our next step. Um, check calendar. September 3rd. Prepare a meal. Oh boy. Okay. Five ingredients. Bread. Uh, what does he want? I mean, what kind of sandwich? Is there like a... Like I said, there's gotta be a cookbook somewhere. But I can't exit the screen out. Alright, so let's do a mayonnaise on it. Um, we have tuna in there, right? So let's make him a tuna sandwich. Sure. Tuna. Let's put a... Lettuce. Let's do tomato. And let's do another bread. Maybe. Okay. You made a strange sandwich. You know what? This is how I eat my sandwiches. Probably add pickle, but there's only you only give me five ingredients. Let's go ahead and take this. Okay, I'm afraid he's just not gonna like it. Um, do I have that sandwich, right? It's still in here. Okay, I do have that sandwich. It's a bit of a mess, but who knows? Maybe George will like it. Okay, so let's give it a shot. He's probably gonna be upset at me. He's eating it, but he doesn't seem to be enjoying it much. Okay, well, I completed it. Well, I'm sorry, buddy. Let me know. Okay, so at least I completed that. So I need to do that no longer. Um, I need to water the plant somehow. I know where to get the water from. Okay, wait a second. Okay, so we got a new item. Let's go to the plant. I don't know if it has water in it or not. Yeah, it doesn't have any water, so I'm gonna have to get water elsewhere. Oh, the sink, right? Like the sink? Elsewhere. Where's the sink? Ah, oh, there was one upstairs. There's another one here. Slightly rusty kitchen sink. Okay, so we got that. So now I have a watering can with a bunch of water in it. How do I water it? Same way, right? Fantastic. So I have to do this every time, which is no big deal. Alright, there are plants elsewhere. How much water I got? 40%, I'm not gonna have enough. Might as well go back and get some more from the sink. Although I think the bathroom um, has sinks as well, that works. All right, plants. Uh, let's go left first. Alright, we just got one more. Plant, 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 plant. 
the hell are the plants? Yeah, so this works too. Okay, good to know. Uh, we're not gonna get the water from the toilet. I just need to find another freaking plant. I already watered this one. No, there's no freaking plants here. Yeah, this requires key, uh, wherever. I mean, what do I... How do I fix this? There's nothing to water here, of course. Okay, let's find this last plant. I'm assuming I have to go all the way up. There may be one in my room. Right? Yeah, that's where I came from. Was locked. The hell is a plant? All right, so that plant was in George's room. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. The power is out. Probably just a fuse. Right. So I cannot go to the fuse box. Um, any objects to add it. Fix a fuse, investigate the door in the basement. So let's go back to the basement really quick and, um... You know... I need to go downstairs. Oh, hi, George. Time for bad. Night, night, my dear. Good night, George. It's pitch black down there. There's no way I'm going without some light. Okay, so I do have flashlight. There we go. Okay, does it have batteries? I don't know. It doesn't really tell me. Oops. Yeah, so I need to just go and find some kind of tool somewhere, some kind of shed uh, up front. So I need to go back um, to the beginning. Okay, so I see somewhat kind of light outside, so. Let's go ahead and just turn this flash light off. I don't know if there's a battery or not, but I just turned it off because I can see. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Oh, it's a rat. What is going on with this? That is freaking crazy. Gross, some sick bastard cut open this rat, but why? That is really freaking weird. Oh, pull out the screwdriver. Oh. It's really stuck in there. Whoever did this must have been very strong. What? I can't even do that? My goodness. Okay. So we have a screwdriver that I really need, but I can't pull it out because I'm not freaking strong enough. Whatever. Spider webs everywhere. I hate the damn things. A metal box. I'm sure I could find something useful in there. Okay. Take pincers, box cutter, toolbox. Okay. I'm sure we're gonna need both of them. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So we got the screwdriver. <clears throat> um. I'm sure that's not gonna work. Yeah. Okay, so now hopefully we can... Now, do we need to put anything back? 
No, you can't even do that. There's no option. So I stole I stole tools from the handyman. It better to keep the gate shut, yeah. There's a ship. There's my ride. I can't leave. So let's <laughs> let's run back. Fortunately, I could run, so that's really good. If I was walking that slow the whole time like this, that would just that would just be very bad for me. Okay, so I guess we are going down stairs. I think. Or upstairs and downstairs. Something like that. No, this ain't it. Okay, so that worked. Let's see what's inside. Examine. Ah, cool, it's a fuse box. Okay, so flip the switch. Fantastic. That is fixed. <laughs> hey, kitty. Oh. Hello again, little one. It's alright, you don't have to be afraid of me. It's alright. You don't have to be afraid of me. I don't bite. Not running away this time. Good. You know I wouldn't hurt you, my little furry friend. I love cats. In fact, if I wasn't fucking dying of cancer, I'd probably get a dozen cats to live with me. People would call me a crazy cat lady. But I just wouldn't give a shit. I'm very curious about that key on your neck. What's it for? Would you mind if I borrowed it? Kitty? Don't leave me alone down here. Okay, <clears throat> so something is... She... That cat has the key to this door, I'm assuming. Where did the cat go? That's the question. And... Okay, so let's follow it. Okay. I got an idea. I do have an idea. Um, and I'm hoping I'm right. Okay, remember to take can of tuna. And you know what? Might as well take all of this, right? Just to have it on us. Kitty, where are you? What if she went in this door? <clears throat> There's a hole in there. There you are. Aha. Uh -huh. Are you trying to tell me something, Kitty? Yeah, she's right by the hamster. Pick what up? What did I? Oh, I got the cage. Uh, place cage on the table, sure. <clears throat> okay, hang a second. Tuna. Let's give it to the kitty. Cat doesn't seem interested. It's not hungry, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> Never mind that idea. So what do I do with this cage? Oh, there's another one. Look inside the cage. There's a dead hamster inside. Judging by the pink color, I can only assume it was a girl. Mm, pick up the dead hamster. Let's go bury him. I don't want to... Pick up a dead hamster in my pocket if I can avoid it. Okay, so I need something um, to pick up the hamster with. And, oh, there's a box here. A tea box. That's right, I just picked that up. Okay, now I got the hamster. Okay, so... Where are you off to now?
Okay, for now she wants me to uh, bury the hamster uh, with um, its boyfriend or whatever. So let's go back down. And is it all the way this way, right? Rest in peace, old guys. Two lovers sleeping forever in a shared grave. I wish I was this lucky. I'll probably just have worms with me in the coffin, munching on my carcass. And spiders. Horrible fucking spiders. God damn it. I'm really not ready for any of this. This shouldn't be happening. I don't want to die. But you're just a cat. You don't know anything about these things. I'm telling you because you're a cat. And cats know about these things. Let's be nice. I'm telling you this because you're a cat. And cats know about these things. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's take the cat's key. Let's pet the cat first. If we can. Thank you, darling. Okay, so we have the key now. Um, I'm assuming it's not to here. Yeah, that's not it. So I'm assuming that's the door in the basement. So the door is unlocked. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm ready for this or not, but I feel like I should save my game first. So dark. So, aha. Uh -huh. What? How do I go back? What's well, weird? Oh, maybe it's just this door. Yeah, that's probably just that door. Well, this is freaking crazy. I can hear wind blowing gently on the other side. Is there so oh my god, there's somebody there. Footsteps behind the door. What in the world? Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the first one. The one we just opened. What is this door then? Is that not is that the door not back? There's someone someone moving in there. Oh my god, what in the world is that? Or something. Either way, I don't really want to know. Okay, she does she doesn't want to go inside. I know I blame her, but what is my god? That's impossible. Am I going crazy? I think I'm losing my mind. Oh my god, another- oh, that's a scary freaking monster, for sure. Yeah, this looks a little better, but... This can be real. It's just a torch, so... Can I go inside there? A hospital bed. Is this where I'll be spending my final weeks? Uh, an ancient corpse of a woman is bound by dry roots. There's something in the middle, right? There's a metal rod sticking out of the, the 
diamond and a piece of paper. Could, what could it be? Let's take that. Okay, <clears throat> let's see what you just picked up. Here lies a pa path to Burn House Lane. One with the blue sky and above you whisper. I'm on only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. Interesting. Is this? No, I don't want to look any closer. Say, I'm only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. Mm, wait a minute. Okay, I can't go back, so let's do this. I'm only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. One of the boards is loose. Could there be something hidden underneath this bullet? A gap is too narrow to pry with my fingers. Okay, so we got something for it, right? Hopefully. Yes. Take a scrap of paper, plug in electric cable. Let's take the paper first. <clears throat> As the reptile's gaze falls falls up on you, as her just is the justice the end or just is the end plug in electric cable oh boy. so we plug that in so let's open this door again if we can okay Okay, what what did that just happen? See, I can say those phrases, but anywhere. Let's go back to where you, that picture just ended. Oh, that picture was pulled, and I don't know where exactly it was. Oh, this is it. A hidden comp. Apartment, that was kind of obvious, I should have known. So then we got now three pieces of paper. With these words, pray to the gods at the altar of sun, give myself to you. So why are these doors open closed now? Can I say something here too? I guess we can. Is this the end? Yeah, what the hell did that do? Okay. Mm. So let's take a look at see what we yeah, let's take a look at this again. As the reptile's gaze falls up on you, hang on. That's a reptile. Wait a sec, which, which number was it? Number two, right, I think? Is this the end? Oh, the crap. That was number two, right? Yeah, is this the end? The reptile, the picture right above, that's a reptile. So anything crazy happened? I should know about. There's a torch. Flowers. Sun. Is there something with sun? Okay, number three, right? Sun. I 
I give myself to you. Maybe it has to be more here, maybe? I don't think that worked. Okay, so let's keep looking above. Maybe this has to be in order. Oh, this is where we're beginning, okay. So, um... So the first one... So we got the reptile, we got the sun. What's the first one? Uh, with a blue sky above you, whispering. Afraid of dying. Blue sky, then maybe that's what we're looking for. Blue freaking sky. Blue sky. Right here. Okay. So this is one. I'm only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So then the reptile. Which is number two. Is this the end? Aha. Uh -huh. And then let's go back to the sun. Give myself to you. Fantastic. Okay, we got it. So. There's no way someone built this under the farmhouse. What the hell is this? Is this hell? God, that is not good. Uh, I'm still alive. Okay, so we're still alive. What the fuck, right? Indeed. Um, I wish I can run right now, but that's okay. There's a ladder. I will go straight. Yeah, that's it. That's a dead end. Birdhouse Lane. Yeah, there's no way to go inside this door. 72, eh? Like, where the hell am I? There's a window that's, um, ah. Okay, so looks like we can go in here. 71. Oh, this one's locked. This one's locked, too. Stinks so bad. Great, everything is locked. So, what the heck? Oh, there's a park. Thousands of wire and chains around it. It is definitely locked. Cherry Blossom! Japan! Oh, okay. This one stays open. It's one of those greasy Indian takeaway restaurants. Okay, so let's check this out. Is there an asteroid here? I would love to save my game. Yeah, there is. Hello? Yes, yes. Hello. I know you're in a hurry, but please. I'm almost done here. I'll be with you as soon as I finish this last portion. You, a smoker? Fancy a smoke while you wait. Go ahead. That ashtray is there for a reason. You want me to smoke in a restaurant? I really wouldn't go as far as calling it a restaurant, darling. <laughs> Actually, you know what? A cigarette sounds great. I will have one, if that's all right. Okay, <clears throat> saving my game, which is good. Hopefully I didn't need to do anything, um, uh, what in the world? I 
Okay, so let's talk. Job's done. Now, how may I help you? Is there someone in your basement? Yes, well spotted. It's Ruby, my girlfriend. She's always there. Um, she's making some strange noises, right? She's, um, making some strange noises. She just gets a bit agitated when she's hungry, that's all. But now that she's fed, it should stop soon. Well, for a couple of hours anyway. She has quite an appetite for a girl. I know. We're already on a third roll of meat today. Where does it all go? So she just sits down there eating kebabs all day. Yes, she does enjoy my donna kebab quite a bit. All my girls do. We have a strict feeding routine here that brings real results. That's what they sign up for, and that's what they get. No fooling around with bread or salad. Just the good old meat. Are those chains? Is she chained to the wall? Of course she is. Safety first. That's my motto. You can't do that. No, see, you don't understand. It's all mutually agreed. It's all good. She actually signed a form letting me do that. Wanna see? Um, maybe later? I know, it looks a bit odd, but I've been doing this for a while, and trust me, the chains are necessary. Especially since the Destiny incident. Oh, Destiny. I'll never forgive myself for that. Well, uh, as long as she's okay down there. She's more than okay. That basement is probably the safest place on Burnhouse Lane, if you ask me. That's why I don't go out so much anymore. But what do I know? Don't mind me. I'm just a guy who makes kebabs. <laughs> Burnhouse Lane. How did I end up here? Judging by the smell, you crawled out of the sewer. No offense. But I was in a house in the countryside. No cities around for miles. Just hills and fields. And then... Listen, I don't want to be rude, but that's just none of my business. Occasionally people like you stop by this place. They always ask questions, try to understand. They say, where are we? Where's everyone else? Why me? But I don't have any answers. And I'm not even interested in finding them. I'm just a kebab guy from Burnhouse Lane, and for five ninety-nine, I'll make you a nice donut kebab. Do you want one? I'll eat when I get home. What's your name? Darling, I'm just an ordinary kebab guy. You really want the bother of remembering my name? Yes. Well, you can call me Omar. But I bet you won't even remember that tomorrow. Shit, you won't even remember that in 20 minutes. And what if I do? Then you get one large doner kebab on the house. <laughs> but really, I just don't care. You mentioned someone called Destiny. Who's that? Destiny. She was... She was the love of my life. Live down in the basement, same as Ruby now, but Destiny... Oh, Destiny made my heart beat like a drum. You know, boom, tada boom, tada boom. So special, so beautiful, so big. She was able to eat twice the meat other girls could, but then one day... Let me guess. She ate too much and exploded. No, no. She 
She got so big and strong. One day she just smashed the hatch, climbed the fuck out, and went for me like a raging bull. I believe her intention was to consume me, like a delicious morsel. So anyway, she surely would have torn me to pieces if I hadn't crawled in the freezer to hide from her. Then she left, and I've not seen her again. It's kind of your own fault. It's all these kebabs. I'm not surprised she'd lost her mind. You don't understand. She loved it. She begged me to feed her. But by the end, I wasn't able to satisfy her cravings for meat anymore. It was never enough, and she was always hungry. What do you think will happen to her now? She roams the park nearby. I hear screaming sometimes, late at night. That's her, feeding on some unlucky passers-by. My poor darling Destiny. There's not much of humanity left in her, if any at all. So there are other people, like me, who found this place? I see them sometimes, not very often. It's funny, but you all smell the same. No offense. What do you mean? Smell of what? Sickness. Well, I'm not staying here. How do I get back? You sure you want to go? I could put you up with Ruby. She won't mind. That's very kind of you, but there's someone at home who I'm supposed to be watching right now, and he might get in trouble if I'm not back before dawn. I see. Well, I won't stop you then. But hey, I just remembered something that might help you. Last week, I heard cats making noise over at the old clock museum. And? Cats know things we don't. They're the only ones who can slip in and out of Burnhouse Lane whenever they want. Okay, I'll try the clock museum. How do I get there? <laughs> That's the problem, you see. You just can't get there anymore. Why not? Remember when I told you about Destiny? How she roams the park? Well, that's where the clock museum is. Right there on her feeding grounds. What if I decided to go to the park? I went past it earlier. I'm pretty sure the gate was locked. That gate's always locked, but there's a way in through the public toilets. They're right next to the park. You can take the toilet's key. There. Just bring it back later. I'll need it for the customers. And if you see Destiny, just run. She's strong, she's aggressive, but she's also clumsy. You can dodge her if you're swift enough, but if she grabs you... I won't let her grab me. Good. I'd be sad to see your pretty face turned into Lachmajun. <laughs> Uh, I'm not scared of a fat chick, that's funny. I'll be in the park if anyone's looking for me. Uh, <clears throat> okay, let's try I'll that. I'll be in the park if anyone's looking for me. Okay, so we got the key. Um, should we go ahead and just, yeah, save this just in case. I don't have to... Somehow I die, Destiny gets me. I don't have to go all through all this again. Okay. So we got Ruby down there. We got Destiny. Um... Get out of here. Okay, uh, we passed that park already, right? So we kind of know what to go. Let's take a look at our objective. objectives. Mm, find and investigate the clock museum. Okay, so I know we're going the wrong way, but I just want to see what's up here. Yeah, this is locked. But what is this? The road ahead is blocked, so this is dead end. So now I know for sure there's nothing there. Yeah, I think everything's gonna be probably locked. Okay, so we have the key, right, to this. Ah, uh, wait, that's the key for public toilets, right? So we can get up through there. <clears throat> well, 
let's go ahead and just unlock both of them for now. Okay, so let's go to ladies first. There's something in the mirror, but I can't see through the thick layer of filth that covers it. Um, I don't think I have anything I can really use for that. Yeah. Ah, oh, wipe filth. Okay, never mind. Hang on. It's been here too long. I can't. I can keep wiping it with my hands, but it's just not coming off. Well, I just don't know what to do. So I don't have some I don't have a rag to wipe this with. Search. It looks filthy. I don't want to do this with my bare hands. I need some kind of freaking gloves. That's what I need to get. It's gloves. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the men's toilet. Yuck. Ashtray, okay. Okay, examine an old letter. It's an old letter from someone called Mary. She seems disappeared with her husband as she had not kept his promise to take her somewhere. A vacation, maybe? I don't think it's anything to do with me, though. Hmm, oh, vacation. The heck? Is that destiny in there? It's like from the inside. Okay, so... <clears throat> okay, so we got in the park. We still don't know how to wipe any of that stuff. Um, you know, I should probably save my game and then just come back. In. All right, so I went back and saved my game real quick. You guys didn't have to see that. Uh, but do I need a flashlight? I wonder. Destiny. This is not a small place. Well, that wasn't too bad. Uh, clock museum. Okay. So, nobody got us, which is good. Hello? Yeah, nobody's there. Uh, to buy tickets. You know, the ashtray. I guess might as well since I'm here. Right under the no smoking sign? Well. It's not like anyone cares. Look, there's gonna be another puzzle. Oh my goodness. What in the world? Oh my god, I can't I can't do anything with this. It won't let me. That's crazy. Aha! We got the gloves. Who are you? Can you let me out? Charles locked me in here. He was going to get help, but he didn't make it. She got him. She fucking ate him like an animal. I saw it all through this hole. God fucking damn it. Um, yeah, who are you? Who are you? I'm. What does it matter? anymore who killed your friend she did this we we were in the park it was pitch black and then we heard those loud footsteps and the gurgling so we ran here charles was going to get help but he never made it out after that i've just sat here waiting for someone to save me where's the key charles had it I'm pretty sure he hid it in his chest pocket. In that case, 
Assuming Charles is the guy in the back room with his guts out, the key must be in his murderous stomach. Along with Charles's liver and kidneys. No. Shit, no. You must get it back. I don't... I can't be here anymore. But what can I do? You want me to wait for her to shit it out? Although, on my way here, I did hear some strange noises coming from the toilet stall. What if that was her? I don't know. Just do something. Anything. Just kill her and rip the key out of her fucking stomach. I don't care. Okay. I'll find a way. I'll be back soon. You hang in there. I can't believe it. She hit... Okay. <clears throat> so I gotta get the key maybe from that stall where she was... Pooping it out, in a nice way to say. Yeah, he had the key, so she ate him. And she now has the key. In her freaking belly. So I do have rubbed gloves. So let's go back to the bathroom. Oh boy, this is not good. Oh my goodness. There she comes! Okay, press RB one round to dash. RB. 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 Got it. Okay. Clumsy she is! I got her! Aha! It also says some walls can be broken um, by dashing like that. I'll have to kill Destiny if that's the only way to get that key. But how the hell do I kill her? Examine. There's a massive shit in the toilet. Clearly it's Destiny's. No ordinary human could ever produce something as disgusting as this. Uh, so here's the toilet. Yeah. Look at the scrambles. Okay, I feel like I need to like write it down or something. Um. Okay, so take cleaning spray. What? Okay, I gotta be cling. Oh yeah, cleaning spray. Okay, let's put rubber gloves. Yeah, and search the toilet with that. Okay, I got some kind of valve. Fantastic. Well, yeah, I should already search through it. Um, okay, so nothing else. We can just close it for now. I uh, already looked at that. Yuck. Yuck. Alright, so we got the cleaning spray, so let's go to the other bathroom. So let's see, let's go ahead and spray this. Um, Okay. Burn house lane 72A. This time I will fucking do it. Come watch me. Damn, 72A. I think there was like a house number 72 either. We've seen that. I believe. Um so there's the toilet. Put the gloves on. The hell? Is there nothing in there? Really? I don't need to use it right now, okay. Let's go ahead and close this then. I think that now well, there's another one here. Okay, what is that? Oh, pistol ammo? Really? I'm gonna have a freaking gun here? Well, that's cool. 
I'll be shooting some people. Uh, so can we, we can close this, right? Hmm. Okay, we got a cat, a clock, clock cat. Alright, so we have a valve. How did I... Uh, yeah. What a lovely little trinket. I guess it would look nice on the shelf in my room. Yeah, it would be. So what the hell do I do now? I gotta get a gun somehow. I have the bullets. Do we try to go back to that... Um, Let's try it. All right, so I think I remember how to dodge. Yeah, Destiny. Wait, was that was that um picture? Oh, never mind. <laughs> She's definitely coming though. I don't know if I need to go back here uh, or not because I don't have the key yet. I don't think I need to go back here yet. So we just need to go back. Alright, so next stop is a, um, I think 72A. That's where we need to go. I'm assuming this is all still locked. Uh, let's try this. That's not gonna work. What? Okay. Whatever. Oh my god! Jesus Christ. Who the F is right? This is definitely like we don't have a key for that. Yeah. Alright, 71 is locked as well. So we need to aid, this is it. It's locked, but wait, there's an intercom. Maybe it still works. Yeah, so boom. I, I see I wrote it down. This is it. Enter. I forgot what he said, what room number it was in that note. Uh, locked, of course it is. How do I get in now? Did he said two or something? I don't even remember. So actually, there was no room number. Um, it was just, you know, 72A and that's it. five okay we got a kitchen uh, look down jump down the hole let's just look down okay let's jump down the hole good lots of prescription drugs everywhere I don't recognize any of the names on the label TV I heard once that if you stare at white noise long enough, you will eventually start seeing things. Holy crap. Wait, it's not that guy from the Easy restaurant, is it? 
Omar. I'll never know who he was or why he chose to end his life this way, but I hope he's found peace, whatever it is. Oh, that's Dan. That must be Dan, right? His name is Dan, according to the mirror. This guy is firmly stuck in his dead grasp. If I want to get it out, I'll need to break this stiff fingers first. My god, okay. Crazy! Okay, so we got a gun. We need to kill Destiny. And take the key from her. Okay, so there is a light. I don't find a key. If I don't find a key for this padlock, I guess I'll have to break it somehow. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> that doesn't work. Okay, how do we break this? Um, see some items that just disappear after you use them? Yeah, no, it's not gonna work. Can't break this padlock with a screwdriver. A hammer, maybe? I don't have that either. Okay, so maybe we'll be looking for a hammer. Locked, of course. What the hell do we do now? Oh, this is great. Did we just shoot it? Ah, uh, okay. Easy enough. Let's try to shoot that lock. Maybe that'll work. Ooh! Eight bullets left. All right, Destiny, here I come. Now, that's not what I meant to do. Since I'm upstairs, I might as well check this door again. What is this? Like some kind of... We're just a hole in the wall. Yeah, this one's on lag, but I don't need to go there. I'm gonna shoot that thing dead. Okay. Mm. So we got the gun, we got the bullets. Uh, we have a monster that's chasing, ch uh, you know, chasing us. We're just like, do I need to kill her though? Maybe I need to like spare her for some reason. Save the game now. Okay. Pistol ready. Destiny. Okay, Destiny is down. Uh, they didn't give me like an option to choose, it was like, should I kill her or not? But I, so I guess this has to happen. Holy shit! You did it, smoking girl. Smoking girl, there's a key in her stomach that I need to recover. There's a key in her stomach that I need to recover. Yes, the key. I'll get it out for you. How? See this knife? But wasn't the destiny the love of your life? But wasn't destiny the love of your life? And now you just want to gut her like a pig? I'm totally over her. Didn't you say that she broke your heart when she left? Time heals all wounds. Except those gunshot wounds you put in her, obviously. Those aren't going to heal. Oh, shut up. Just get that key, will you? Is this the key you were after? 
Why? Did you find more than one key in there? No, but I found a golden watch and I'm keeping it for myself. I don't care. Just give me the key. I'll see you again, smoking girl. Okay, it's Omar. Bye, Omar. <laughs> you did remember it. I promised I'd give you something if you do, so here, something to remember me by. Okay, what did he just give me? Um, so I got the key. And oh, he gave me the dinner, right. Not sure what to do with it. It smells pretty good, but I'm not a big fan of this myself. So I'll just cancel it for now. What if this lady is bad? What if this is a monster? Uh, there's nobody there. future propane no gas supply oh yeah this it is gas to no gas examine the main gas supply box okay so let's just kind of take a look first I will I won't dare to look at her face what else is there pull red handle push red button pull green handle if I know what I need to do with this burn it push in Oh, budge. Okay. Uh, pull red handle. Oh, push red button. Okay. Pull green handle. Let's go ahead and push the body in. What? Uh, push red button. Nope. A red handle. Okay. From the gas on. Ah, oh, the valve is missing. Okay, fantastic. Here we go. Okay. Where's the red button? What? What did I miss? Got the gas on. Close it, right? There we go. Woo! Was I supposed to do this? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I had to, right? Okay, so we burned the body. Oh boy. It's really smoking here now. Can we uh, turn, this, turn this off or what? That's not good. Did we die? talking to Angie Weather? Yes. Okay, that's great. Um, you came to us last week to run some tests. The results are in, and... Are they okay? Dr. Matthews asked if you could come in. He'll explain everything. Wait, is something wrong? Am I ill? We don't give out this kind of information over the phone, I'm afraid. Let's arrange a visit, shall we? Can you make it this afternoon? Sorry, can you repeat? I can't hear you very well. I said... I want to help you. Draw that 
knocks on the door and come to me. What? I want to take a closer look. Who is it? Wait a second. So is this like a memory? Did this already happen? Oh, wait a second. I'm glad I did that. Uh, glowing chalk. Okay. Strange. Dark energy. Piece of chalk. Okay. I guess we'll get out of here now. What the hell? It wasn't like before. Great. The voice told me to draw an X on the door. Okay. We got an X. Now what? Yes. I think you might actually have a chance. I have a good feeling about you. It's your voice I heard on the phone, isn't it? Who are you? As you can see, I'm a cat. I used to have a lovely warm home, but one day, Andrea got sick. She came to Burnhouse Lane. I followed her, and I stayed. Where else can I go? Who's Andrea? She was my friend, of course. A long time ago. We both died in that fire, but I simply refuse to accept it. Why am I here? This is where the sick come to die. Where else would you be? Are you sick too? No. I shouldn't really be here. But cats never obey the rules. Instead, sometimes I try to help poor souls like you. Because I know how to cure your cancer. This rotten sickness slowly killing you from the inside. I can give you a fresh start. If you're willing to work for it, of course. There's no cure. There's nothing they can do. But there is something you can do, Angie. The cure's inside you. You just need to reach in and find it. But it will not be given easily. You must prove something to me first. Prove it to yourself. I'll do it. Just tell me how. I'll give you five tasks. Complete them all, and you will live. First task is to bring an evil man here to Burnhouse Lane. You're going to meet him very soon. Don't let him lull you into a false sense of security. But make him follow you here instead. He won't come willingly, of course. So use the chalk you found to draw an X on the door. It'll take him straight to Burnhouse Lane if he walks through it. Here he will pay for his evil deeds. Go back now. A new day is coming. But... We'll meet again soon. But now, take the door. Go back. I believe old George will need your help. Flashlight any longer. Okay, so let's go back to George. 
And I'm assuming that might be end chapter one, maybe. Ooh. Yeah, back here. Yep, 